Hey friends, uh, Wemgadge here. So I thought I'd show you guys kind of a quick one. Um, my band Full Spectral Alliance has been tracking some new songs and uh, we've been using a Zoom L12 to do the tracking, uh, just kind of getting comfy in the living room with a couple of us. And um, I'm mixing them down in analog on my Model 24. So in order to do that, I took the files from the Zoom and uh, imported them into the Model 24, uh, track by track. I'm not gonna show you that right now because this is just a quick one, uh, but essentially I mapped them one to one. So track one on the Zoom became tra track one on the Model 24, etc. Got things where they are, and I've been trying to do this as analog as possible, but I did want to add some compression and a vocal writer to our singer Dave's vocals because he's, he's up and down, and I didn't want to ride the fader. I'm not that good. I just I kind of suck at this stuff. So what I've done is I've got everything set for MTR, except for the vocals and I had track two set for MTR for for PC as well because on the last song I did I needed to um, uh, clean up a, a synth track a little bit so what we're doing essentially is we're only using plugins when we need to we're using Reaper in conjunction with the um, MTC feature of the Model 24 to sync it and I'm doing as little as possible on the computer. So in this case, I'm gonna go into Love's Perfect Schemes, grab the track with Dave's vocal on it, and import it, rewind. And if I did this right, when I play, his vocal should be where it ought to be. And even if I switch back and forth between MTR and PC, you'll be able to tell. Okay. So that's uh, directly on the NTR. This is uh, going through. So there's a bit of a mastering, uh, not a mastering train, a mixing chain on there. I've got a, a meter. I've got Shep's Omni Channel set up with a, a vocal setting that I kind of played around with, and then Vocal Rider to kind of keep track of things. And you can see that's really the, only, the main thing. It's getting a lot of work done for us here. Okay, and I'm going to print this using the built-in MTR, not... I'm going to print this using the built-in MTR, not the, uh, not Reaper. And, uh, and then what I'll do is I'm going to export the stereo on here. So I'm doing as much as possible in hardware and on the hardware the hardware DAW, for lack of a better term, because it is it, it is an audio workstation of sorts. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, the other thing I was able to do this way is I've got shared chorus and small, sorry, shared delay and large hall is being bussed across here for all of the uh, effects that need it. So there's some consistency and it'll actually sound a little bit more live-ish. Um, well, that's all t for today. Uh, this is probably just going to go up on archive.org, so um, I'll probably add a link to it when that comes out. Thanks, everyone.